Hi, here's Norbert Hildebrandt with Inside Media. I'm here at the Park booth at the Flex 2013, and I'm speaking with Janos Veres, who will tell us what they have in common for the flexible display industry coming. Thanks. Park has been in this field because we have a lot of background in printing, a lot of background in displays. In fact, Park was a pioneer in display technology in, in the 80s, built the first, very first active matrix color display, that was a high definition display back then. Since then, we've been applying printing to making displays. So this is an example. This is an example of a printed back plane. This is inkjet printed. Every single pixel you see there uh, in the middle of this array is one transistor print, printed by inkjet. This is able to drive displays. And this is one way people think, uh, imagine uh, displays being made on flexible substrates, transparent substrates, large areas. We can make them bigger, transparent, flexible by using other types of printing technologies. Now we also have other prototyping capabilities that use a lot of photolithography to apply novel materials. So amorphous silicon has been a workforce work material for driving pixels. We use uh, oxide materials with a variety of deposition techniques. We understand how the materials work. We can troubleshoot what's happening with them. And we've been building displays on prototype level. We help companies do that. We also take that into imaging, uh, in the imaging field, because the same kind of arrays you see here can be applied to build image sensors, photo sensors, or x-ray sensors. It's pretty much very, very similar things, arrays of transistors. Instead of driving pixels, now they're receiving information from a photosensor and recording X-ray or, or light images. We also apply printing technology to build digital circuits. So this is a very new uh, field. Um, you have functional materials that can be made into inks. And that's really exciting because you, you treat materials as inks you put them in little vials, you put them into a printhead, and you can build digital circuits. Um, that can be configured in all kinds of ways. You can make them flexible, um, transparent, conformable. So they go into applications like um, wearable medical devices, smart tags. The beauty of it is that you can put them on, on pretty much on the actual object that you, you're making. So if you're thinking of a smart tag, it can be flexible, can be applied, or maybe we can print this on the device itself. That's the attractive bit. Now, these are way earlier in, in development, in the phase of development, than, say, existing chips in the silicon industry, because we're looking at dozens of transistors instead of millions of transistors that we used to in, in microprocessors. Still, this is very exciting because the materials are different. They're organic, they're organic, they're printable. So because of the use of the printing technology, we can come up with loads of different ways of configuring them, applying them, combining them with sensors. So when you're thinking of a, a smart tag, you can imagine a chemical sensor with a temperature sensor being combined with some logic circuit with a printed battery, and then these form you know, smart systems. And that's the idea, to use printing technology to be able configurably combine those, those different functionalities and come up with libraries of circuits that have sensors, some really basic digital circuitry, but they're going to grow. They're going to get more and more complex and we'll be able to do more, more things and, and, and broaden the application range. Thanks, Janos. Now, Park is not known to make products. How do you work with the industry? Um, Park is in the business of breakthrough of innovation. So we offer services, client services to people. We help other businesses, help, help other people do their business better. So we help them solve a, a problem, a technology problem. We have a quite a broad range of technologies from optoelectronics to um, uh, hardware systems software, intelligence systems, uh, we do ethnography, so we pretty much understand the whole, you know, the raft of technologies that we can apply. And people come to us with questions to solve a particular technology problem, or sometimes the technology problem is coupled with a business issue, and we help to solve them, uh, those, those problems. And um, uh, we get paid for it, it's, uh, or we get paid for it either as a direct uh, uh, fee, or we get paid for it in, fo in form of a, um, a licensing revenue. Um, but we're very proud that we're able to make a significant impact in the, in the, in the business of our partners because the, sort of, we pride ourselves in the innovation we make is very unique. We try to address problems that, that really change the world. That's the kind of, that's the kind of uh, angle that part, that's the history and heritage of part that's been for 40 years. Okay, thanks.